हेलो फ्रेंड्स टॉपिक विच आई एम कवरिंग टू जे इज स्टाफ परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल इन हाउस कीपिंग फॉर दिस यू मस्ट नो द इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स विच आर यूज इन दी अप्रेजल दीज आर फर्स्ट इज योर के आर ए विच इज की रिजल्ट एरिया इट कैन ऑल्सो बी कॉल्ड एम और ऑब्जेक्टिव सेकेंड इज के पी आई की परफॉर्मेंस इंडिकेटर्स थर्ड इज वेटेज इन परसेंटेज विद इन हंड्रेड परसेंट फोर्थ इज रेटिंग दैट इज इन स्केल ऑफ वन टू फाइव मार्किंग ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस टारगेट टारगेट्स सेट फॉर योर परफॉर्मेंस टारगेट्स आर सेट फॉर मेजरिंग द परफॉर्मेंस रिव्यू रिव्यूअर और एप्रेजर हु जजेस योर परफॉर्मेंस एंड सेल्फ रेटिंग एम्प्लॉयज आर इन सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑल्सो बींग गिवेन द ऑपरचुनिटी टू सेल्फ एप्रेज दैम सेल्फ देर आफ्टर देयर एप्रेजर एप्रेज दैम now this slide is about the rating of the appraisal so the rating takes place between 1 to 5 where um 1 is the poor performance 2 is below expectations of the management or your hod 3 is uh, meets expectations fourth is exceed expectation that is better than the uh, uh, better than the expectation of the um, your hod or the management and fifth is better than expectation and uh, it means that you are performing very greatly in the organization so what can be the outputs of these ratings that can be if your performance is on first rating then you can the, you must go out of the organization <coughs> as you know that uh, these uh, ratings takes place annually so one year is the good time for you to either improve your performance or go out of an organization if you are continuously uh, performing poor then you must leave the organization or your uh, organization may ask you to leave the organization second is below expectation that you are not performing as per the expectation of your management so in this situation you can either be given no increment or you can be issued a uh, uh, issued a letter for improving your performance and uh, based on that your performance will be measured um for 3 months or 6 month more and it if it has not improved you may ask to leave the organization third is meet expectation here you will get average in salary increment if you exceeds expectation then you can get get higher increment and if your rating is 5 that is better than expectation you can get high increment and promotion also sometimes performance appraisal is an annual practice which your um department and the hr department do in order to uh, do the increment or appraise the good performing employee organizations have a different set of formats for doing the appraisal but i am briefing here you the simple way so that you can easily appraise or and do the performance appraisal of your employees here i am showing you a simple format of appraisal uh, which has kra kpi weightage target actual output and your percentage of performance so uh, any hod can do the appraisal based on this and they and they can share to the hr department these are basically 
basically the objectives which the HOD or the management expect from his supervisors or managers. So in housekeeping, these can be the common KRAs that is satisfied customer with service, recycle management, cost control, high level cleaning standards and hygiene standards. So in order to measure this KRA, you have to design the KPI and those KPI you can divide into the percentage of weightage and the total of the weightage should be 100. You can see at the bottom the weightage percentage is 100, 100%. So the KPIs you have to divide into different percentages that um, depending on the um, uh, maturity of uh, or the scale of the work involved you can give the percentage to the, the weightage different categories of weightage and for for each uh, KPI you should have 100% target because you will expect your uh, in charge your supervisor or your manager to give their 100% for those KPIs that, that's why the um, target set for each uh, KPI is 100 you can see in the column and based on those you can take uh, you can mention your output which they have generated on different um, uh, against different KPIs that is you have seen that 80 percent 75 percent 60 40 etc these are the actual output which one HOT has just of his supervisor or manager and that once converted into uh, percentage it gets to 62 percent that is the total percentage achievement of the employee and that employee uh, who scores at 62 percent he can be given a rating of 2 um, so this is all about the appraisal and uh, the appraiser also need to mention the comments of his strength and weaknesses into the uh, column given so that the HR can review it properly. The simple calculation I have demonstrated for you to understand how you can appraise your employee. If your employee is a high performing employee you can even rate him at 5 and uh, accordingly the percentage will also go up. Uh, you can also rate him 4. So this depends on the performance of your supervisors and managers how they are performing.